Hello and welcome back everybody to another 10 Shadow video. Today we are in lesson 9 of our FS Academy Jetliner series. Today we're going to learn about an emergency descent. We're going to dive from a high altitude to reach breathable air after explosive decompression. Sounds exciting, so let's jump in. Okay. All right, the crew reporting a sort of hissing, air leaking sound from the window by seat 9 Alpha. They're moving Ooh. the passengers away from that row just in case. That's not good. In case it gets worse or blows out, let's review the emergency descent drill. Okay. The first action is always to put on your oxygen mask. If we lose cabin pressure at this altitude, you won't be able to stay awake for more than about 10 seconds without oxygen. Next, we turn on the seatbelt sign. We're going to want to descent quickly. There's our math. There's so our math. the technique is to turn and pull the alt, heading, and speed knobs in that order. We're not setting anything exact on the first pass. Just select a lower altitude, a small turn, at a higher speed. Then we check that the PFD shows the autopilot is still in control and that the correct modes are selected and that we are descending. Next, we refine our FCU selections and set the engine mode selector to ignition and inform ATC. We'll consider the speed break at this point too. In case we do have to descend, looking nearby I can see we're just passing overhead Salamanca, which has a decent sized runway. We'll be getting nearer to the French coast in not too long also, so if we... Whoa! Grab a mask! Okay, we're both on oxygen. Yep. Seatbelts on. Seatbelts on. Now do the first pass of the emergency descent drill. Turn and pull the out knob. Next, turn and pull the heading knob. Now turn and pull the speed knob. I'm turning and pulling. Good. We're going down. PFD shows open descent and heading. Okay. Engine mode selector to ignition. I don't know where that's at. Now the second pass of the FCU set 10,000 feet altitude. Over speed. Over speed. And now set a speed target of 330. Set speed 250. We let the speed come back as we don't want to stress the aeroplane. We don't yet know the full extent of the damage. 
But let's hide the air becomes breathable again. Let's take our masks off. Okay. Okay, good. Hmm. We yep. got down here really quick, which we means did. the passengers are out of harm's way as quickly as possible. That's great. Now keep this lower airspeed in order to balance the expediency of landing quickly with the reduced airframe stress. We now communicate with ATC and the cabin crew to learn of any injuries and to arrange a diversion to a nearby airfield. Good job. 